what is the formation of harmonics in the case of organ pipes? That is what we are going to take up. Organ pipe of course, is of two types we know one is an open pipe and one is a closed pipe. In the air column whatever is present inside the organ pipe, stationary waves are going to be formed and due to that different harmonics we are going to observe. Simply speaking the formation of nodes and antinodes nothing special there, but these harmonics how they are going to be formed in the case of organ pipes and based on this particular concept how to determine the speed of sound in air considering resonance in the case of air column apparatus. These are the things what we have in this slot. So, organ pipes we are talking about. When we take organ pipes, one is an open pipe we used to call it and the second one is a closed pipe we used to take up. In fact, open pipe means both sides it should be open, whereas a closed pipe means one side it is closed and other side it is open. In fact, these concepts only we are taking or considering in the case of pipe instruments, which of course, are called even, even wind instruments, musical instruments like flute, clarinet and other things. So, when we consider open pipe and closed pipe separately, how the harmonics are going to be formed in them? Let us start with open pipe first. When I just consider open pipe and the formation of harmonics over here, I consider three different cases. Same pipe is considered in all the three cases, both sides it is open. I took a tuning fork, I have tuned that one and I have kept that one above this. Then the waves which are being produced by the vibrating prongs surely will enter into the tube. When they are entering into the tube, how the stationary waves are being formed in that we need to know. First and foremost the basic concept is at each of the open ends an antinode is to be formed. So, there are two open ends therefore, two antinodes we should get there it is a must and when once the wave enters into this that wave exits from the other end and after coming out of the tube, it used to strike the denser air and reflects back and comes back. That means, we people are finding in this particular case an antinode formation here, an antinode formation here as a minimum means one node must be there in between these two this must be the node and the wave whatever is just entering this way it is going like this and reflecting back like this to form a node in between these two antinodes. This is what we call it as the basic mode of vibrating air column in the case of an open pipe. Why are we calling it as a basic mode? For that also the reason is quite simple to understand, one node is expected here, less than one node means zero nodes, zero nodes means no waves they are being formed it is understood. So, this is what we call it as a fundamental mode of vibrating air column in the case of an open pipe. 
Suppose if I consider the geometric length of this pipe as L, then how much it is going to be? It is equal to lambda by 2. You can definitely understand an antinode and immediately next antinode. Two successive antinodes in the case of a stationary wave 